almost every site has JavaScript code. And if developers don't catch the JavaScript errors, then your site can be in trouble. In this video, I will show you how you can use Google Tag Manager to catch those uncaught errors and then send them over to Google Analytics 4 as event. So if you are interested in learning how to do that, then this video is for you. But before we dive into the video, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Google Tag Manager has built-in functionality to capture uncaught JavaScript errors. Once you capture them in Google Tag Manager, then you can send them to any tag that you would like. So let's go to Google Tag Manager and set the required tags and triggers. In Google Tag Manager, first we will need to enable certain built-in variables. These variables capture additional information about the JavaScript errors. So click on Variables and click on Configure in the built-in variables section. Scroll down and under Errors, you'll see certain variables. First is Error Message. Check this. This variable contains the details about the error. Error URL contains the URL of the page where the error occurred. An error line tells you exactly the line in the code where this error occurred. There is also a debug mode that tells you whether your container is in debug mode or not. You don't need to enable this. Let's just leave these three. Now go ahead and close the configure built-in variables window. And now your variables are ready to be used in your tags. Next, we will configure a trigger and then we will create a tag and pass these three variables to GA4. So click on triggers and then click on new, click in the middle and scroll down and in the other section, go ahead and pick JavaScript error. Let's leave it to all JavaScript errors. Provide your trigger a name, let's call it JS error and go ahead and save it. Now our trigger is ready. Click on tags, click on new to create a new tag, click in the middle and pick Google Analytics 4 event. Pick your configuration tag and then provide this event a name. Let's call it JS error. We will be passing three parameters. So one, two, and three. The first one is error message. Next one is error line. And the third one is error URL. Now let's pick the values for these parameters. These are the three variables that we just enabled. So click here and find error message next error line and finally error url scroll down and click in the middle to attach a trigger this trigger will be js error so anytime a javascript error happens this trigger will fire which will then fire this tag sending all this information to ga4 Go ahead and provide a name for this tag. I am going to call it JS error event. Once done, go ahead and click on save. Now our tag is ready. I'm not going to put the container in preview mode to test the JavaScript error tag because when I'm previewing, I might not see any JavaScript errors. However, there might be JavaScript errors that my users are experiencing. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this tag and then watch the data come through in GA4. So let's go ahead and click on submit. Provide your version a name. Let's call it JS error tracking version description, JavaScript error tracking enabled. Once done, go ahead and publish it. Now everything is published. Now, if there are any errors on the site, then they will start to show up in Google Analytics 4. So let's go to Google Analytics 4 and see if there are any errors. In the real-time reports, let's go to events 
and here are all the events. I do not see any JavaScript errors. So that's a good news. However, let me show you an example from a different site that shows these errors. So here is the event section of another site. And as you can see, there are tons of JavaScript errors on this site. Clicking on this shows you all the different parameters. Clicking on error message will show you all the error messages that are occurring on the site. This is a great information for your developers because they can go check all these errors and fix them. So that's how you capture JavaScript errors and then pass them to any tag. In this example, we are passing them to GA4. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you are interested in learning GA4, then check the description of this video for links to free GA4 resources. I will see you in the next video.